Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the common string functions in PHP. Okay, so functions that we use to deal with strings. Now, I don't know if you already know this or not, but if you go to php.net and then slash whatever function you want to look up, yeah, you can do that. And for instance, we're looking at print R, which just prints out arrays. Uh, we already, we've used this in the past. And it gives you just the description, the different parameters it can accept, the return values, some examples and some user uh, user contributed notes so um, just to let you know that you can do that alright so I have a new file called string underscore functions dot php and we're just going to take a look at some of the different functions that php offers so the first one we're going to look at is substring or, or sub str and what this does is it returns a portion sorry about that it returns a portion of a string so let me give you an example. If we were to create a variable called output, and we'll set it to sub str, and then it's going to take in a parameter, which will be our string. We'll just say hello. And then we want to say where we want the substring to start. So let's say 1. OK, and then we'll just echo out output. Now if we do that, we just get ELLO. The reason for that is we said we wanted this to start it the one, uh, one index. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to start at E because that's the, the one position. All right, if I were to change this to 0, then it's going to start at the beginning. If I change it to, let's say, 3, reload, we get just LO. All right, now we can also define where we want it to end. So let's say we want it to start at 1, which is E and then we want it to end at the 3 position and we reload and we get ELL because 1 is E and then 0, 1, 2, 3 ends right here Okay, after this second L. Alright and then if you want to start from the, the back you can do that as well by using a negative number so if we say let's say negative 2 and we'll just comment this out reload we get LO okay because that's the negative 2 position and then it goes to the right alright so that is substring pretty simple uh, next one we're gonna look at is let's see string length or str len and that will return the length of a string okay so this is pretty simple let's go ahead and create a variable called output and we'll set it equal to strlen and let's say hello world and then we'll echo out output reload and we get 11 okay so it's just counting the characters including the space all right so that's a pretty simple function okay so next one we're going to look at is string position or strpos and that'll find the position of the first occurrence of a specified substring so let's create an output variable and set it to strpos and we're going to put in the string which is we'll say hello world and then let's search for the o okay now what this is going to do is start at the beginning here and once it finds this match it'll give us that position number so let's say echo output and that gives us four because it's zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so pretty simple. Now there's also uh, a function called strrpos. So let me just copy that and comment this out. So strrpos, and what this does is it finds the last occurrence. Okay, so we'll change this, add an r there. And then let's save that and reload, and we get 7 because it's looking at the last occurrence, which is this. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So next one we're going to look at is trim. And what this does is it trims white space. So if, as an example, let's create a variable called text. And I'm going to set that to hello world. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of spaces after it like that. 
and then what we'll do is we'll do var dump which will give us some information on this value okay so we'll reload we can see it's a string gives us the actual value and it gives us the number the length of it which in this case is 25 now the reason it's 25 is because it counts all of these spaces as one so what we can do is we can set a new variable called trimmed and then set it to the trim function Oops. so trim function and uh, we'll put in here text and then we'll do bar dump for trimmed and we'll comment this out and save it and now you'll see that this this now changes to 11 because it trimmed all that white space off okay so this is usually want to use this for like form input when someone submits a form in case they did something like this all right so next one we're going to look at let me just comment this out okay so whoop. next function we're going to look at is string to upper or str to upper and this will make everything uppercase so this is pretty simple uh, what we'll do is create a output variable and let's set it to str to upper and we'll pass in here hello world and then let's echo the output and that gives us hello world in all caps okay we also have string to lower as you may have figured out let's just comment this out so this is string to lower and this makes everything lowercase okay let's output that and we get hello world and it's all lowercase okay now if you want to just do the first letter of each word then you want to use uc words okay that'll capitalize every word so if we say output is equal to uc words and we'll just say in here well actually let's do it all lowercase and then we'll echo that out and now you can see that the H and the W are both capitalized all right now we're going to take a look at a function called string replace or str underscore replace and this will replace all occurrences of a search string within a replacement so if we put in a variable called text and set that to hello world and let's create an output variable and set it to str replace and this takes in three parameters the first is what we're going to search for which is going to be the word world second is what we want to replace it with and let's say everyone third is going to be the actual string we're searching which is text okay so let's go ahead and echo output and now we reload and we get hello everyone okay it started as hello world but we wanted to replace world with the word everyone so the next one we want to look at is is string and that will test to see if something is a string or not all right so let me just grab that and paste that in okay so let's um let's create a, a val or value variable and we'll set it to hello and then we're going to go say output equals is underscore string and then pass in that value and then let's echo output so what that returns to us is a one because it is a string now if we were to change this to let's say a 22 with no quotes we get nothing it actually returns false if we were to put quotes around this and save now we get one because now it's a string all right so pretty simple uh, and then what I'm going to do here is create an array. We'll say values equals array. And I'm going to put a bunch of different data types. So we'll say true, false, null. Uh, whoops. 
we'll put a string of ABC. We'll put the number 33. Uh, without quotes, we'll put it with quotes. We'll put a float, so let's say 22.4. And then we'll also put that in quotes, 22.4. And let's see, we'll do just nothing. We'll do a space. We'll do zero and we'll do zero within quotes. All right, so what I want to do is loop through these. We've done this before for each loop. And we'll say for each values as value. And then we're going to test to see if that if each value is a string. Uh, whoops, I want to say if is string value. And then if it is, we want to echo out. And let's do value is a string and then we'll put in a line break. So let's save that and reload. And we get, oops, why is there a one? Oh, we gotta comment this stuff out. Okay, so we get ABC is a string. So you can see it skipped these three because they're, they're not strings. And then 33, it looked at this one because it's a string, this one, these two are both considered strings, and then this zero with the quotes is a string. All right, so hopefully that just gives you a better, uh, better idea of how that works. All right, now the last one I want to look at is GZ Compress, and that'll actually allow us to compress a string. Let me just comment this out. Okay, so compress a string. So what I'm going to do here is just paste in a very long string. Okay, and I put it inside of a variable called string. And then what we'll do is we'll say compressed. We'll set a new variable. And we're going to use gz compress and pass in that string. Okay, and then we'll echo out compress so you can see what that looks like okay so it's it's unreadable it's just uh, it's just our compressed text now you're not going to output this anywhere um, you just want to compress it and maybe you want to I don't know pass it through another function or to an API or something I'm not sure exactly um, but if you want to uncompress it then let's do we'll set a variable called original and we'll set it to gz uncompress and we'll pass in the compress string and then let's echo that out okay I'm just going to comment that out and then we get the text back okay so you compress it do something with it and then when you need to use it again you can uncompress it all right, so that's going to do it for string functions. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some other functions that have to do with arrays, um, turning strings into arrays and arrays into strings and so on. All right, so I will see you then.